What is going on you guys and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. So in today's video, we're going to be covering everyone's favorite investor, Kathy Wood, and her ARK Invest new filing for their new ESG ETF, which includes no oil, banks, booze, chemicals, or candy stocks, which is definitely a very intriguing concept and very new for Kathy Wood. So in this video, I'm going to be talking everything about this new potential ETF and my thoughts regarding Kathy Wood and this new ETF. So if you guys want to see all that, stay tuned and cue that intro. So before we hop into the analysis of this new ETF, let's talk a little bit about Kathy Wood. So for those of you guys that don't know who she is, she's the founder and CEO of ARK Invest. And ARK Invest is a fund that manages about $23 billion in assets. So it's definitely a huge fund and they have returned about an average of 45% annually over the past five years, which is just insane. This is blowing the S&P 500's returns out of the water, four to five Xing it in fact. So arguably she could be one of the best investors in this time period. So that's just insane. <laughs> so she definitely has a credibility. So let's take a look at some of the ETFs that she currently has and manages. And with these different types of ETFs that she offers, there's going to be a very reoccurring and common theme amongst all of these different types of ETFs. In fact, if we just scroll up over here and read this. We believe investors should have access to innovation and benefit from owning what could be the most innovative companies of our lifetime. So just from this and taking a look at the different type of ETFs, we can kind of see it's all about innovation. So we've got disruptive innovation. So obviously that's innovation, next generation internet, next generation, genomic revolution, autonomous tech and robotics, fintech innovation, space exploration, and 3D printing. I think it's pretty obvious that her investing philosophy is all about innovation and a lot of these different types of etfs are actually in the very early stages for example space exploration we're just starting to get into that right now 3d printing is another good one and same thing with genomic revolution so these are all things in the early stages so let's kind of see where this next etf filing is at compared to some of the ones that she already offers so coming back to the original article by the way all the articles and links used in this video will be available in the links in the description just in case you guys want to check it out for yourself but anyways this article really highlights what's going to be inside of this potential ETF as well as what this ETF is all about so it's basically about transparency in companies and about ESG investing and for those of you guys that don't know what ESG investing is is basically just social responsibility when it comes to investing so it really focuses on three different things environmental impacts so staying away from gas and things that hurt the environment and kind of moving towards things that don't like green energy and whatnot also the social impact so things like basic human rights and staying away from harassment and whatnot at the workplace and lastly governance and that's just all about being transparent and moving through this article it also talks about things that aren't going to be included and these are things that the stocks can't have in order to be inside this etf so pretty much the same things that we're going to find in the headline but again just to kind of read them off alcohol stocks banking chemicals confectionery, fossil fuel, transportation, gambling, metals, mineral, natural gas, oil, and tobacco. So any stock that has to do with any of these aren't going to be included inside this ETF. So if you're a big believer and you love ESG investing or you just don't want to stay into any of these type of stocks, then this is potentially a great ETF for you to get into just because it doesn't have any of these type of stocks into it. And then just to kind of name off some of the stocks that are going to be included inside of this ETF, there's Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, and these are all companies that are also found in her ARKK fund. And then of course there's Coinbase, Netflix, Roku, TDoc, Deer, Chipotle, Best Buy, Airbnb, and Target. So now that we've seen some of the holdings inside of this ETF, I feel like there are a lot of things to wonder and question Kathy Wood about for this potential new ETF. By no means am I hating on her or anything like that. In fact, I agree with a lot of her investing philosophies, but these are just my personal opinions, so take it with a grain of salt. All right, let's be honest. A lot of these companies aren't what we expected from a Kathy Wood ETF. A lot of the companies that she usually picks are very, very innovative and not that these aren't innovative at all or that these are bad stocks at all. They just feel very basic and they're a staple of a lot of people's portfolio already. Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Tesla. These are staples in everyone's portfolio. I guarantee you at least 90% of all investors have at least one of these stocks inside of their portfolio. 
So with that being said, it just feels like Kathy Wood just picked a lot of FANG stocks, which are very good stocks, but it's what pretty much everyone else has already, and just threw them all into one ETF. And just to reiterate, I don't think Kathy Wood is a bad investor of all. In fact, I believe she's one of the greatest investors in this time period at least, and I follow a lot of her different types of investing philosophies. It just doesn't feel like that much of a Kathy Wood-like ETF, and it just doesn't feel like it fits in with all their other types of ETFs where they're all about innovation. And this one just feels very basic. It feels like a FANG ETF that anyone can kind of put together. So again, not hating on her. It just feels like it feels kind of out of place. One other thing that I'm kind of concerned about for this ETF is what will the expense ratio be? So a lot of her other ETFs are actively managed and I'm assuming this one is also going to be actively managed and with actively managed portfolios a lot of buying and selling occur so a lot of trading and because of that the expense ratio is pretty high and expense ratio is just kind of like a fee for having her manage our ETF for holding the ETF. So with that being said some of our other ETFs have like a 0.66, a 0.7 75.79 expense ratio which is pretty typically kind of high some of the vanguard funds have a very low 0.08 or 0.05 expense ratio so if this one is going to be a very basic fang type of portfolio or etf then if it's going to have a 0.75 expense ratio this is something that i would stay away from if it's going to be very low then this is something that i might consider adding just because it has that esg factor and it has a very safe Fang type of aspect and also some of these other nice ones like airbnb tdoc and whatnot and i'm just going to kind of throw this theory out here i'm playing devil's advocate over here but why not so with her actually introducing this new type of etf or it's very fang like or very safe it might actually benefit her arc invest fund and that's because a lot of her investors right now are very risk on and her etfs are known for being very risky because there are very high multiple stocks inside of these etfs so by her having a very basic type of etf where basic investors or people that play it safe or like to play it safe can actually just throw their money into with the low expense ratio and having stocks like apple amazon microsoft and not really having to worry too much it might actually benefit her to get tons of more assets under management where she can actually get a lot more money and by the way her funds are actually not performing very well this past year and that's because of of course market volatility and what's been going on over the past year with inflation and whatnot but by her having a very basic etf she might actually start to attract more and have more people investing inside of her ETFs. It might also give her a little bit of diversity as well. So who knows, it might be just a quick smart play by her, but at the end of the day, it really just depends. I personally like this ETF because of the ESG aspect. I'm just worried about why it's very different than some of her other types of ETFs, if it's gonna be actively or passively managed, and what the expense ratio is gonna be. So with that being said, I have to see and when more details come out then I'll kind of determine I'll let you guys know if you guys want to know what I'm going to be doing with this ETF when it comes out then guys you guys already know hit the subscribe button like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think about this video and about this ETF leave me a comment down below and guys remember everybody eats